activities that software testers need to involve themselves with. The first is developing tests in a test library and these will be a reusable set of tests that can be used in test runs against different versions of your product and against different configurations. The second aspect is the definition of releases that your tests are going to be run against in conjunction with configurations or setups of your application under test. The third aspect is collating tests into test sets so that you have a list of tests to run uh, that are all related tests um, possibly related by aspects such as testing type, integration testing or a feature type that a set of tests are going to be um, covering. The fourth aspect then is the execution of those test sets and recording those test results. So in this example we're going to look at how that can be managed with a product called QA Complete or ALM Complete. And in this scenario we would define our tests in the test library you can see here I've split my tests into functional integration performance folders and those tests for example would include the usual um, items like uh, the title name for the test, the status, so if it's going through an approval process and then a description and perhaps who that test is going to be assigned to. We then define test steps along with the expected results for each of those tests. Once we've created a test library, we need to define the releases and the configurations that we're going to run those tests against. So in this example, under the releases tab, we may have a main release and a patch release. And you can see here within the main release, we've got version 1 and version 2. And version 1 then may have a subset of builds or even iterations if you're in an agile development environment. In conjunction with that, we will set up configurations. So this is going to be a config or an environment that you're going to be running your tests against. And here we can see configurations that have been grouped by OS type. Um, that could be um, platform, for example, as well. You may also include specific aspects that relate to configuration settings on your application here. The trick here is getting that combination of releases and configurations that you're going to test against and those would be defined and allocated to the test sets that we're going to run our tests against. Where a test set in this example is a collection of tests, so for example regression test set B here contains seven test cases and if we drill down on that test set we'll see a, a title for the test set and we'll see some overall description and then under the test tab we'll see a list of all the tests that are linked to that test set. The other key point here, going back to the releases and the configurations, is that this test set we are planning to run against two releases, version 2 and version 1, and three configurations, XPI 8, XPI 7, XPI 6. All of this comes together then when we execute this test set. So if I click on the Run Now button for this test set, we'll see the test runner window come up and we can then decide which version of the product we're going to be running the tests and test set against and the configuration. And we can then run these tests and step through each test in turn, executing the test steps and passing or failing the individual tests. After we've completed all the tests, we can then pass, fail or block the overall test run and record that test result. So again, those core test management activities are defining your tests in a test library, defining the releases and configurations you wish to run a test set against, and then creating that test set which consists of multiple tests. The execution of that test set and the individual tests then recorded as test results which will then be reported on.